Hey guys, it's Skies, and this is some Dark Souls PvP with me and Mr. Sunlight Blade. We're in the pit here with one of my dexterity builds and one of my intelligence builds, so check it out, guys. It's really cool matches that I had with him, so uh, very cool dude. His channel link is going to be below. He does Dark Souls videos and stuff like that, so yep, that's it for the intro. He speaks Australian or British, so he automatically gets a thumbs up for me, and he's a very cool dude, and we'll be working together here later in the year in the future, so... Thank you guys again for watching, and that's it. Enjoy the commentary. Hey guys, it's Skies, and I'm here with Mr. Sunlight Blade. If I didn't say that already in my intro, uh, we're gonna be doing here some uh, good old matches with my dexterity build, the one that I build with the scythe. Personally, in my opinion, one of my favorite weapons. I uh, just love it, the, the way the move set and everything like that. I think it's my favorite in the game, so I definitely. Uh, use that when I can. I haven't used it in a while since I've been focusing on my other builds. Probably the only game that I've played that I actually took take time to build characters. You know, in Skyrim, everyone's, you know, eventually in, in, in Skyrim, everyone can be the same level with the same stats and stuff. So I like how Dark Souls, you kind of focus on builds with dexterity or, you know, focus builds with strength or, you know, faith or math or intelligence and stuff like that. So I've definitely been having fun building characters and getting advice on some things. So yeah, these are just matches that we had together. Very cool dude. I'm glad, you know, we got matches in. We were up early this morning and we just decided to get some gameplay together. And talk about our ideas for the machinima, which hopefully all turns out well. And some of my subbies and some of the cool other YouTubers can be a part of. So if you're watching this, if you want to know a little bit more, go ahead and ax me. Because you guys can all be a part of, a part of it. I don't really mind. It's going to be awesome. Hopefully it'll grow into Dark Souls 2 if you know, they incorporate a lot of the same things that Dark Souls 1 had. So hopefully it, it'll be good. As you can see there, I punish him with the fire. Little fireball he threw at me. And I think I spank him at the beginning, but then we just get used to each other. And he you know, starts getting more used to my gameplay and he starts getting back at me. Definitely great dude. Great uh, PvPer. Had... Again, can't strain that I had fun with him. <laughs> Me and him definitely enjoyed our matches, and it was not try-hardy at all. And you know, we just enjoyed the game, and that's how I think this game should be played. Nothing too serious. If you become serious and stuff, that's all you. But me, I'm just gonna enjoy the game and have fun with it, and build characters that look pretty. That's how I generally am. I, I don't like building characters that look all ugly, but super strong and stuff like that. I just I like pretty quick characters and stuff like that. So yeah, here he, he he like spanks me right here, and then like I'm just like, oh man, I need to come back. So I quickly start using my uh, my uh, scythe again, and uh, I come back here with uh, I believe a backstab or something like that. I think, yeah, I quickly just run for it. I'm like, oh, there's my opportunity. So I go there and stab him in the back. Very uh, very smart thing that he has going on here with his uh, spear that's the only thing that really gets at me is when someone uses like a halberd or something like that in this match he uses the quay like fury sword which i think is an awesome weapon i just never used it on this build i, I might get some gameplay with that eventually who knows so yeah i don't know <laughs> like i say in almost all my commentaries i just i generally don't know what to talk about so i'm just going to talk about uh complaining <laughs> i uh well, speaking of complaining, I just don't, like, I mean, I was playing a match earlier with a dude, and he messaged me calling me, like, a scrub or whatever, and I was just like, ah, oh. you know, I don't have the time to message people back and, and, you know, fight back with each other, and I don't believe in, honestly, shit talking. I honestly believe that uh, Dark Souls has been out long enough to know, like, every weapon's moveset, so if you don't know it by now and you've been playing, it's kind of just, like, it's kind of your fault, I guess. I think every weapon's counterable, and if you know the move set, then you kind of know what they're going to do. Like, right there, I already knew he was going to do his Fury Sword, which is a little spin. So, I honestly don't care if, you know, you use an OP weapon, because, you know, I'll try my best to counter it, and if I lose, good game. You know what I mean? So, I hope that's people's mindset nowadays. You know, if you could, uh, if that's the mindset for most PvPers, I'll definitely won't mind, you know, versing you or getting some matches in, because that's how I generally play. I play, like... You know, if if we, if you win, don't expect me to message you going like, "Oh, you bitch, you spammer, blah blah blah." It doesn't matter to me as long as you have fun and I had fun in the match. If I didn't have fun, forget you. No, I'm just kidding. I I, I love playing matches. It's fun for me, so it doesn't matter. You see, there he shoots like magic out of nowhere. I don't I don't understand what he was doing there. But he, 
he, he shot to the ground. I, I don't know if there was an enemy there or something, but it, it looked weird on my screen. I was like, what's going on? Is there like a ganker or something or something coming in here? And then he switches to his crystal magic and good lord, does it hurt me. I'm here trying to like look all pro with my dark tracer. Then that guardian was like, what's up bros, can I join? And he's like, no, you cannot join. So he spanks that dude. That stone guardian thought he was casual, but you know what? We're not casual versus us. I want to do that cool 360 stuff you do when you throw magic and stuff. I, I don't know how to do that, so eventually I'll get to the point where I do 360 no scopes and 360 360 crystal no scopes and stuff like that. I, I I don't know what he does there, but you'll see him do it twice where he like turns around and he and he like completely fakes me out. Like I don't understand how that works out. I need to you know, get better and learn how to do that because it, it honestly trips me out. Like I see him like turn around and he just comes out of nowhere and like stabs the other way. I'm like, what? How did he do that? Right there, he definitely beat me. Good job, sir. I think this match I get a parry, so oh, it makes me feel good every time I get a parry. I only have like six total. That's it in my all online experience. So every time I get a parry, it's like an incredible feat for me. And here I'm using my rapier, so I, I definitely switched out and try to do all fanciness here with the fancy footwork and stuff like that. I think that's the Falacion or Falacion or whatever you call it. I don't know what it's called. I'm a noob. So yeah, again, like I say in almost all my videos, I don't know what to talk about. <laughs> I say that like in every one of my videos. I'm just trying to get used to talking to you guys. I don't do commentaries. I like doing let's plays and stuff like that. But you guys like to PvP and stuff like that. And I love it too. So I'm going to get used to this. And maybe one day I'll actually have an important talk topic to talk about. So that'll be cool. See there how I got that little stab and then I just go in there for the parry. I like that. I like how that works out. Very good match, sir. Very good match. So, there you go. That's all for my commentary, guys. I, I really don't know what to generally talk about in my commentary, so I try not to talk the whole match so I don't blabber and then sound stupid if I don't sound stupid already. So, here's our match with his little bow, and <laughs> if there's one thing you guys want to know about me, I play really defensive. So, like, for some reason, when someone uses a bow, I get scared. I really do. <laughs> so, like, I let him hit me, like, a, hundred, a bunch of times because I don't know how to fight against someone with a bow. And since I'm using the rapier, I don't do much damage. It's kind of scary for me. So, here I go with my rapier. And I'm going to end it here. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video and my noobish commentary. Me and Mr. Sunlight Blade are going to be doing a lot of things here in the near future with machinimas for Dark Souls and stuff like that, eventually. If not, well, then it was a good idea, but I think we're going to do it, and it's going to be cool for you guys. So, thank you guys for watching, and at the end, I shall do my little outro, and you shall be able to click Derb. Derb is that little cloud with the beard, and he loves you. <laughs> so, click him, and that is it, guys. That is it for my videos, and I shall be gone now. Goodbye, guys. Have a good one.
Alrighty then, guys. Those are the matches with me and Mr. Sunlight Blade. Don't forget to check his channel out in the description. He's a very cool dude and he does Dark Souls videos. So, you'll be seeing me and him in the future doing working with some machinimas and stuff like that that we'll come up with, hopefully. If not, like I said, it's a really cool idea, so... That's it, guys. Don't forget to click Derb. Derb's that little cloud with the beard. And when you click him, you start suggesting other games for me to play. Thank you guys one more time. And I am no longer here. Goodbye. Be over.